How to Calculate Volume of a Cylinder Calculating volume is one of the tasks that math teachers like to torture their classes with. Unless you are familiar with the relevant formula, calculating the volumes of different objects can be tiresome. Those who have mastered the skill have a different story to tell. To them, performing the task is fun. They will even attest that it is easy to learn how to calculate the volume of a cylinder. This knowledge is not just handy for math tests and quizzes. It can also be helpful when you need to calculate the volume of, say, a soda can or a can of paint, or to determine how much fluid it contains. Now, the number of occasions on which you would need to do that may be few, but if you are a contestant in a game or reality show, the skill could mean the difference between winning millions or losing. So follow on to learn how to calculate the volume of a cylinder. 1. Memorize the formula. It is quite simple and not difficult to commit to memory. You can memorize the lyrics of a new song in 5 minutes flat. The formula for calculating the volume of a cylinder is a hundred times easier to remember. Repeat the following to yourself five times without looking. V equals pi r squared h. The symbol's meanings are V stands for the volume or amount of space occupied by a three-dimensional object. It has nothing to do with the loudness of sound. Pi is 3.14, of course. That's always handy to remember, so don't forget it. R stands for the radius, or half of the diameter of the cylinder's base. H stands for the height of the cylinder. 2. Find the values for your cylinder's height and radius. Use the same unit of measurement for both. If you measure the height in inches, then measure the radius in inches. If you measure the height in centimeters, measure the radius in centimeters and so on. If the cylinder is large, you may find it easier to measure its dimensions in feet. Measuring the height is easy. Just measure from the top to the bottom of the cylinder. For the radius, measure from the center of the cylinder's base to one edge. Take this number and square it. Multiply the number by itself. 3. Multiply the result of squaring the radius by 3.14, the value of pi, remember? That gives you the area of the cylinder's base. 4. Now multiply the cylinder's base area by its height. 5. The figure that you come up with is the volume of the cylinder, recorded in the relevant cubic units. So, say the radius of your cylinder is 2 inches and its height is 10 inches. Starting from step 3 above, if you square the radius, you will get 4. Multiply 4 by the value of pi, 4 times 3.14, which equals 12.56. You can then multiply 12.56 by 10 to get 125.6 cubic inches, or 125.6 inch cube. And there you have it. You can now calculate the volume of a cylinder in five simple steps. There are many advantages to knowing how to calculate the volume of a cylinder. For one, the more confident and skilled you are at doing this, the faster you can get your homework, quiz, or exam done, and the sooner you can get back to Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. Make learning how to calculate the volume of a cylinder a priority today.